We need your desire to grow. God is sending that acceleration towards us. Can somebody shout hallelujah this evening? Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're all welcome in Jesus' name. God bless you all. Thank you for connecting. Hallelujah. Online. Thank you all that are here. God bless you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I know God has something great to reveal tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And I know you shall be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I bless the Lord for the lives of the set man and set woman of the house. Hallelujah. Foundation Ministries Limerick. Hallelujah. So, uh, Reverend Victor and Pastor Rachel, God bless you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for the privilege. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I thank every member of Foundation Ministry Limerick. God bless you for the work you are doing. And I know the Lord will continue to increase you mightily in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. And to everyone here, uh, God bless you all. Everyone online, God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, it's going to be a wonderful night in his presence. Hallelujah. We are talking about supernatural harvest supernatural harvest praise the name of the lord hallelujah. hallelujah praise the name of the lord as you heard the man of god was saying uh the Peter was saying he says if you are living uh, if your life is ordinary that means you are no different hallelujah from who the unbeliever hallelujah because our lives as children of god are meant to be what supernatural we are living in what the supernatural realm hallelujah praise the name of the lord and I know that God is going to take us there to that, that, uh, that supernatural realm whereby we begin to see signs, wonders, miracles happen. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. But not only happen, but happen suddenly. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Happen quickly. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Tonight, we are just talking about supernatural harvest supernatural harvest that's what god is talking about in this time praise the name of the lord yeah. hallelujah he's talking about supernatural harvest praise the name of the lord hallelujah. and we have that thing uh verbs the um the verse for which is that uh for the theme which is amos chapter 9 and verse 13 and it says behold the days are coming says the lord when the plowman shall overtake the reaper and the treader of grapes, him who sows the seed. He says, the mountains shall drip with sweet wine, and all the hills shall flow with it. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I was just meditating upon that scripture in prayer and just meditation, you know what the Lord is saying? He's saying he's bringing about what a supernatural harvest. He's bringing about what? An overflow in the mighty name of Jesus. He says that overflow that is coming, if we are not careful, we may not be able to handle it. Praise the name of the Lord. He says it's going to be coming. Just coming swiftly. Coming speedily. Praise the name of the Lord. The harvest is going to be coming quickly. Praise the name of the Lord. He says get prepared. Get prepared. Get prepared. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, for what I am going to do in this land is going to what a wonder in the mighty name of Jesus. He says, what I am going to do, be expectant of something great. Be expectant of an abundance of harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. He says, he will send them forth from the east, from the west, from the north, from the south. They will come forth. Hallelujah. They will come into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He says, the hearts of men will be directed towards him even the more in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. You begin to wonder, you know, we were sitting down one day, we were talking about, uh, you know, the, the early days in Ireland and uh, a pastor, a pastor that is without Pastor Marie was talking about the days when, when there was the full gospel here in Ireland. And Pastor Marie said something, says, and in those days, you had to book, you had to book to get, get a place. And if you are not early enough, he says, you won't even get a place. Wow. You won't get a place. And God says, that time is re returning, and even in a greater dimension. Amen. In a greater dimension. Amen. Whereby people who want to come to church, they won't have the space to come. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, that's the kind of abundance of harvest that is coming. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The abundance of harvest that is coming is going to be great. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And while I was just meditating upon this, there was a word that just dropped into my heart. Because when you look at this verse, it says where the plowman shall overtake the river. And it says the treasure of the grapes, he who sows the seed. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. And it has to do with something about acceleration. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And that's the word that the Lord drops into my heart. He says it's a season of what? Acceleration. Yeah. Hallelujah. God is going to accelerate things in our own lives. God is going to accelerate the harvest. He's going to accelerate even us to be prepared for what that harvest. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. There's going to be an acceleration in all aspects of our life. In all aspects of the ministry. There's going to be an acceleration. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And when we are talking about what? Uh, acceleration. We are talking about what? A process of moving what? Faster. Hallelujah. Something happening more quickly than before. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So you are so going to begin to see some things happening faster for you. Praise the name of the Lord. You are going to begin to see things happening faster, speedily, more quickly. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Speed is what causes what, I mean, I mean acceleration is what causes you to want to catch up. Hallelujah. Acceleration is what causes you to catch up. Acceleration is what causes you to what overtake. Praise the name of the Lord. So when you are hearing that word acceleration, be prepared to catch up. Be prepared to what overtake. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. You may say the harvest is not plenty now. You may say there's not how many souls that get to win. But God is saying that what he's going to do with acceleration in our lives, in the ministry, in the body of Christ, he says the harvest is going to what come and even overtake. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. We are going to catch up. We are going to catch up with Africa. We are going to catch up with America. We are going to catch up with, uh, uh, with Asia. Praise the name of the Lord. He says we are going to catch up and we are going to overtake. Because of what the acceleration that is coming for. It's only when you accelerate that you can overtake. It's only when you accelerate that you can catch up. And God is speaking about that acceleration. He says, I'm releasing acceleration for you. Acceleration in this land of Ireland, most especially. Praise the name of the Lord. There's going to be an acceleration of evangelism, an acceleration of what our, our, our desire to do some things for him. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because when you talk about acceleration, it's like a surge. It's like a surge. What is a surge? It's a powerful force, a powerful movement, forward or upward. A surge is a powerful movement, forward or upward. And that's what God is saying. That's how the acceleration is going to be coming. Forward movement, upward movement. Forward movement and upward movement. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Because he says that's what's going to bring the supernatural habits. Supernatural harvest won't just come back like that, but there's going to be some work that we have to put in ourselves. Ourselves. We have to put in some work for that supernatural harvest to happen. And that's why God says tonight, he wants to show us some things that is what going to accelerate in our lives. In our own lives. 
to bring about to bring forth what that supernatural harvest. Praise the name of the Lord to bring about that harvest that will overtake all other nations. Praise the name of the Lord that we would even go into the times of tent meetings. We will see happening in this land. Praise the name of the Lord. We will see that people will be coming, will be trooping down. We won't even have space for them. We won't have space. And what is the cause of that acceleration? What is the main cause of the acceleration? Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Bible says when in, in, in Acts chapter 1 says, it says, and you shall what receive power from what on high. Praise the name of the Lord. And you shall receive what power from what on high. And that's what the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is what gives acceleration to everything. Praise the name of the Lord. Why people are not experiencing the supernatural is because they are not allowing the Holy Spirit to work in them. If we allow the Holy Spirit to do the work it has it is supposed to do, we will experience the supernatural, we will experience signs, miracles, and wonders. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And that time is coming. The Lord says that when we yield ourselves totally what, to the power of the Holy Ghost, we'll begin to experience the supernatural in every area of our lives. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. There will be an acceleration in every area of our lives. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And first of all, what the Lord has told me is that he's going to accelerate. There's going to be an acceleration to what? To intimacy with him. An acceleration in the intimacy that we have for him. An acceleration what in the intimacy that we have. That, you see, why do people are living a life that is in the ordinary is because they are not intimate with God. Yes, they are born again, but they have not become intimate with him. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus says, I am the Father, I want the one. Because he is so intimate with the Father that he is one with the Father. When we become intimate with him, we become like him. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Acceleration to the intimacy with him. Praise the name of the Lord. That's what God is saying as number one. Praise the name of the Lord. Psalm 63 and verse 1. Psalm 63 and let's start from verse 1. Hallelujah. There are some desires that God is going to... I want you to listen carefully as I go through those desires. There are some desires God wants to accelerate in your life. Praise the name of the Lord. To bring about what? That change. That change to that supernatural nature. That supernatural thinking, that supernatural action. Praise the name of the Lord. Acceleration to the desire to earnestly seek and thirst for Him. Under what intimacy? We need to what come to that desire. That desire needs to be what accelerated and causes. I am breaking about that acceleration for the thirst of Him, for seeking Him earnestly. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen to what the psalmist says. He says what? He says the psalm of David, when he was in the wilderness of Judah, Oh God, you are my God. Early will I see you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh what? Longs for you in the dry and thirsty land where there is no water. Praise the name of the Lord. God is going to accelerate our thirst for him. Because when we thirst for him, it's like, you know when it comes to thirst, when you are thirsty, you look for water anywhere. Anywhere you will look for water. And God is saying that kind of thirst is going to what? Put impute into us. Praise the name of the Lord. To bring about an intimacy with him. Because when we are thirsting for him, we are seeking him. We are earnestly what seeking him. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. He will going to accelerate our thirst for him. 
you will see that you can't do without Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You'll see that every in the morning, the first thing you do is to what? Wake up and just praise and worship him. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. In verse 2, it says, verse 2, it says, So have I looked for you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. Verse 3, because your loving kindness is what better than life, my lips shall what praise you. Hallelujah. Verse 4, it says, Thus will I bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. Praise the name of the Lord. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. Praise the name of the Lord. That is somebody that is what? Thirsting for Christ. Thirsting for God. Praise the name of the Lord. Continually, you will see yourself wanting to just praise him. Wanting to just worship him. Wanting to just be with him. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number two under that, under acceleration for intimacy, is that he wants to accelerate our desire to see those things that are above. Accelerate our desire to seek those things that are above. That is why we live in the ordinary because what we look at the things that are earthly, but the things above are those things that will bring the power for the supernatural. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. To seek those things that are above, to seek God Himself, to be focused on Christ all the days of our life. Put on the earthly things that you see. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Colossians chapter 3 verse 1. It says, if then we have been raised with Christ. You have been raised with Christ. Your realm is what is higher than this earth. Because you have been raised with Christ. You are, not, you are no longer part of this earth. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. If you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are what above. Your heart should be towards angelic ministration. Your heart should be towards the 24 elders that are worshiping the Father. Praise the name of the Lord. Your heart should be what towards worshiping God day and night. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. You are no longer here on earth as a child of God. This act does not it belongs to what your believers. This is not your realm. This is not your realm of glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Acceleration to desire to seek the things that are above. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. He said, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. And you are seated at the right hand of the Lord Jesus Christ. In heavenly realms, that's where you are seated. Seek those things that are above. Hallelujah. That's where you get the power from. For the supernatural. You get it from what? The heavenly realms. You don't get it from the earth. A lot of people go, they, they do, they are gymming everything, body everything. That, all that won't keep you anywhere. It won't take you anywhere supernatural. It won't take you anywhere supernatural. And I mean, to, the highest you can do is run. Even if you can run, you maybe one hour. After that, you are tired. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Enter into the heavenly realms where you can never get tired. You can never get weary. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. God is going to give acceleration to that desire. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Acceleration to desire to put to death earthly things. Earthly things. To put them to death. Praise the name of the Lord. As I say, you, you do not belong here on earth. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 5. Put to death therefore what is earthly in you. Sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is what? I the 
And that's why a lot of people can't operate in the supernatural because the things of this earth are they are filled with it. Filled with it. Praise the name of the Lord. How, 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 are you going to, how are you going to be the one to handle the harvest that is coming? How are you going to handle the harvest that is coming? Praise the name of the Lord. Put to death that acceleration to put to death the earthly things will be released upon you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. I say receive it tonight Amen. to put to death those things which are earthly that are in you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So you can catapult what, to that what supernatural state that you are meant to be. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Another thing in terms of intimacy with him is what acceleration to our desire to know him. Praise the name of the Lord. Why? Because he says, those that know their God, they shall be what? They shall be strong. Those are the strong ones, the ones that know their God. He says, and what shall they do? And they are the ones that shall what? Do exploits. Praise the name of the Lord. Those are the ones that will be able to what? Handle the harvest that is coming. To bring in the harvest that is coming. To draw it in by prayer, by evangelism. By spreading the word of God. Those that know their God, they are the ones that are strong. Praise the name of the Lord. So that desire, that acceleration of that desire to, to know him will be released upon us. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We need acceleration in our, you know, in our desire to know him. It's not enough what we know. Every day we should desire to what know him the more. Know him the more. Paul says what that I may know him and what and the power of his resurrection. That is the level we must reach. That I may know him and what the power of his resurrection. Why? Because he wanted to do exploits. Without knowing him, there's no exploits. No exploits. Praise the name of the Lord. No supernatural harvest without knowing him. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Another thing that he wants us to, to that he wants to accelerate in our lives is the desire to love him. The desire what to love him. Praise the name of the Lord. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 5. It says, What? You shall love your God with what? All your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. Desire what to love him, to love him. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. When we love God, God, <laughs> that's when he, he can do anything for us. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. He can do anything for us. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Loving him is staying in that supernatural state, that supernatural life. Loving him is keeping his commands. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And then in totality of this, when I say intimacy, acceleration in, in, to our intimacy for him, in totality of what I've just said now, there are some things that begin to happen. Isaiah chapter 65 verse 24. Isaiah chapter 65 verse 24. When you are honestly seeking, when you seek those things which are above, when you put to death earthly things, when you desire to know him and you desire to love him, look at what God says. Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 5. It shall come to pass that before what? They call. Hey, hey. Before they call. I will what? And while they are still speaking, I will hear. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, before you even desire a supernatural harvest, he says he has had it. He says, even before you start speaking about it, he says he will begin to work on it. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Before they call, I will answer. Our desire is for what? A supernatural harvest. If we look after ourselves, if we turn ourselves around, God will answer before we call upon him. Before we call upon him. While they are still seeking, I will hear. 
Praise the name of the Lord. And God, I know, is hearing us today. Praise the name of the Lord. Because we desire that change in our lives. To honestly seek Him, to seek those things which are above, to put to death those earthly things in us. Praise the name of the Lord. Desire to know Him and to love Him. He says, Before you call, He says, I will answer. Praise the name of the Lord. So be expectant of that supernatural harvest that we are talking about. Praise the name of the Lord. Because the Lord has already had us. He has already had us. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3. He says, call it to me. And I will answer you. Ha. When you are intimate with God, there are some things that God will begin to show you. And that is why it was, that's where the supernatural comes from. Praise the name of the Lord. That's where you enter into that realm of what the supernatural. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, call unto me, I will answer you and show you great and mighty things. Praise the name. He says, which you did not know. Intimacy brings about the secrets, the revelation of the secrets of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Intimacy brings about what? The revelation of the secrets of God. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, I will show you the great and mighty things. I will show you how to bring in the harvest, how to reap in the harvest of what? Of Ireland. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God is going to reveal to us how to bring about that supernatural harvest in Ireland. Praise the name of the Lord. Because we are calling unto him. And he says he will show us great and mighty things. He's going to show us, give us what, how to manage this harvest that he says he's bringing about. That would be overflowing. That would be overflowing. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So that was number one. Acceleration to intimacy with him. Number two. Acceleration to what? Spiritual growth. He's going to, that is what God wants to accelerate in us too. Praise the name of the Lord. He wants to accelerate our spiritual growth. I've come to see that a lot of people that say they are born again, they are not growing. And that's where they lack power. That's how they lack power. Because they are not growing. Praise the name of the Lord. Because they are not growing. If you don't grow, you can't be, bring forth fruit. It's not possible. A tree, a seed, when you plant it, it grows to bring forth what fruit. It grows to bring forth what fruit. If something is not growing, it cannot bring forth fruit. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So number one thing under that, under spiritual growth, acceleration for spiritual growth, he says, I will accelerate your what? Desire to abide with me. He says, I will accelerate what? That desire to abide with me. To abide with me. Because when you abide, that's what brings about much fruit. That is how we can bring about what much fruit here in Ireland. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. By abiding with him. Because when we abide with him, remember, he says he will tell us what the secret things, the way we should go about it, the way we should go about it. Hallelujah. To rake in that harvest, that overflow. Praise the name of the Lord. John chapter 15, verse 4 to 6. He says, Abide in me and I in you, as a branch cannot bear fruit by itself. Unless I abide, unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine and you are what the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears what much fruit. Much fruit. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are looking for what? 
that supernatural harvest. You can't do it without what? Abide it. Abide it. We can't see it. We can't experience it without abiding in him. Abiding in him. He says when we abide in him, we what? Bring forth much fruits. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Secondly, again, he says, I have to bring about that acceleration in the desire to grow in grace and knowledge. To grow in grace and knowledge. Praise the name of the Lord. I will accelerate that desire in you to grow in grace and in knowledge. Praise the name of the Lord. When God releases this upon you, you will see yourself what desiring to study the word daily. Desiring to what pray daily. Praise the name of the Lord. Growing in grace. Desiring to what worship daily. Praise the name of the desiring to praise daily. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second Peter chapter 3 and verse 18. But growing the grace. And knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. To him be what the glory both now and forevermore. Praise the name of the Lord. It's, it, it is something that we need to do. Grow in grace and in the knowledge of him. Praise the name of the Lord. Colossians chapter 1 verse 9 and 10. He says, for this reason, since the day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you. We continually ask God to fill you with what? The knowledge of his will. Through all wisdom and understanding. That the spirit what? Gives. As I said, it's the power of the Holy Spirit. That brings about that acceleration. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's the Holy Spirit that gives wisdom. It's the Holy Spirit that gives knowledge. The Holy Spirit that gives what? Understanding. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Growing in grace is what allowing what the Holy Spirit to take over. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Growing in grace and in the knowledge of Him, allow the Holy Spirit to reveal to you. Praise the name. Not walking in your own ways with cement right, but the end there of what is destruction. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Again, He says. I'm going to bring about acceleration in the desire to move away from what elementary teachings. Elementary teachings. We can't remain on the same spot. Hallelujah. We have to move into higher, higher teachings. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We have to move away from what elementary. Start to move away from milk and start to Lord, desire what the soul is. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because when the people are well fed, then they are able to go out and what be able to what do the work in a, in, a, in a different dimension. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 1. Therefore, let us move beyond elementary teachings about Christ and be taken forward to what maturity. Because it's only mature hands that can handle to what the harvest that is coming. God can leave the harvest to what? Hands that are not mature. It is mature hands to handle the harvest that he says is coming. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And that's why I say it's going to accelerate in us. That desire to move away from what elementary what teachings. Then it's going to accelerate what? The desire to be rooted and beat up in him. To be rooted in Christ. Not one that is what? Blown away by every form of what? Wind or, or, or wave that comes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Not those that be tossed by every wind. No. He wants those that will be strong in for him. Praise the name of the Lord. Acceleration to, to desire for us to be rooted and grounded and picked up in Him. Colossians chapter 2, verse 6 and 7. He says, So then, just as you received Christ, just as the Lord continue to live 
your lives in him, rooted and built up in him, strengthened in faith as you are what taught and overflowing what with thanksgiving. Praise the name, uh, with thanksfulness. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We must be strong. We must be ready for what harvest is coming. Praise the name of the Lord. We must be strong, ready to receive what God is bringing our way. Praise the name of the Lord. Because if we want a rapid harvest, if we want a, a plentiful harvest, if we want an over, a harvest of over, we must be strong to receive it. We must be strong to receive it. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then he says there's going to be acceleration in the desire to grow. Some people have no desire to grow. But God says in this season, there's going to be an acceleration for what? The desire to grow. Desire to grow. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Desire to grow. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First Peter, let's look at, uh, I think it's First Peter chapter 1, uh, 5 to 8. He says, Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's quickly go there. First Peter. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. I think it's Second Peter 1. Uh, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Second Peter chapter 1, 5 to 8. Second Peter chapter 1 and 5 to 8. He says, For this reason, make every effort to add to faith goodness and to goodness knowledge, and to knowledge self-control, and to self-control perseverance, and to perseverance godliness, and to godliness mutual affection, and to mutual affection love. For if you possess all these qualities in increasing measure, in increasing measure, they will keep you from being what ineffective and what unproductive. Because if you don't grow, you'll be effective. Hallelujah. You'll be all productive. God says, I'm accelerating that desire to grow in us. And in you, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because when we, this, when we grow in the faith, when we grow in the faith, we become what productive. We become what effective. The Bible says what? The effective and fervent prayer of what the righteous Effective, effective, not just prayer alone, but the effective prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. An effective prayer doesn't just come from the ordinary man, it comes from what a man who has grown in the faith. Effective prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Those are things that draw down what the habits, those are things that rake in the habits. Praise the name of the Lord effective, desiring to grow. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. This is until we reach. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 13 to 16. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 13 to, uh, to 16. It says, until we reach the unity of faith and the knowledge of the Son of God uh, and become what? Mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. We need to desire to grow. God is sending that acceleration towards us. Praise the name of the Lord. To accelerate us in growth. In growth. Because when you grow, <laughs> hallelujah, when you grow, you become like him. You become like Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. When the people saw, I think what Peter did, when they saw them in the, in the crowd, they said, these ones, I, I, I believe they must have sat with Jesus. Why? Because they have grown from the people that they don't knew before. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And the work they were doing was effective, was productive. The Bible says what? After the Holy Ghost what came upon what? Uh, 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 upon Peter. Peter preached what? A sermon and what? 3,000 what? Filled the church that day. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We are coming into the act part of what now that we begin to catch up. Praise the name of the Lord. That is catching up. In those days that was a catching up. A day 
He preached. 3,000 came. Woof. To the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. This, this is somebody that was running away when you were asking him, are you, are you a servant of the Lord? That's, but after the Holy Spirit came upon him, praise the name of the Lord. He became effective. He became productive. Hallelujah. His desire for God changed. Praise the name of the Lord. His desire for God changed. His intimacy with Christ changed. He preached a sermon, 3,000, and they caught up the whole of, uh, in one day they were able to catch up. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. All those who wanted to give their lives to Christ when Christ was alive, that one day, 2000, but straight away. That's what you call supernatural harvest. Hallelujah. But it takes what intimacy with Christ, it takes love of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It takes a desire to what to, to grow spiritually. To be able to what? Achieve that. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And God is releasing acceleration in that area. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Lastly is what acceleration what? In that desire to harvest souls. <laughs> Praise the name of Some of us, we don't have that desire to what? Harvest souls. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. But the Bible says what he that swings the soul, he says he's wise. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to be wise. And I want to be continually wise. So I will continually win souls for Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And that's the only way that we can bring in the harvest. On top of the supernatural ones that God, we have to work, put in, put, make an input into what God wants to do. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our desire for what? evangelism, our desire to witness must change. And God is sending acceleration in that area. God is sending acceleration. Acceleration in the desire to win souls. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Where is he sending that acceleration? In that desire to make evangelism what a daily affair. I will run through this quickly. Acts chapter 5 verse 42. And daily in the temple and in every house. They cease not to teach and preach Jesus Christ. That's to make it an a daily affair. A daily affair. Witness it. A daily affair. Praise the name of the Lord. That's how we bring in the supernatural harvest. A daily affair. Not weekly, a daily affair. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Acceleration in the desire to witness to all men. Not a special set of people. No, not a special group of people. No, all men. All men. Praise. Acts chapter 22 verse 15. Wherever you find yourself, for thou shalt be witnesses unto all men. And to what thou hast said, seen and heard. Praise the name of the Lord. That's how to witness. That's how to, to bring in the harvest. Wherever you find yourself, whoever you find yourself with, witness to. Witness to. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 7. Hallelujah. Yeah. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 7. As ye go, preach, saying the kingdom of God is at hand. Second Corinthians chapter 1, 5 verse 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. We persuade men. You must be a persuader. A persuader. Praise the name of the Lord. That's where the acceleration is coming from. It's coming to. To persuade you to do the things of what? Of God. Praise the name of the Lord. And to persuade you. To, to enable you to persuade men. To say, well, don't, don't, don't wait for the terror of the Lord. Hallelujah. Give your life to Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. That desire to witness to all men. Praise the name of the Lord. Because the Bible says, Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, all nations, anywhere you find yourself, any nation you find yourself, baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Mark, six, Mark 16, and verse 15, And he said unto them, Go ye all into what? Preach the gospel to every creature. Every creature, every creature, any pet that people own, you preach the gospel to it. 
Praise the name of the Lord. And that's why I love Spikey so much. When we are praying, Spikey will come and sit down. He prays. Because he knows when we are praying. Hallelujah. Amen. We'll pray. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. He's born again. Yes. He's born again. Praise. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Few more places where we give acceleration into. Acceleration into desire not to sin. Not to sin. Acceleration in that desire. Not to sin. Praise the name of the Lord. Because sin is what? Is damnation. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Sin is what stops what supernatural from what working. Yes. It puts an end to any supernatural effect that may be in, in your life that God has wants to infuse into your life. He says, James chapter 4, verse 17. Therefore, him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, him to him it is what sin. God says, Go out and preach the word. You don't do it, it's a sin. You are not witnessing. It's a sin. It's a sin. Praise the name of the Lord. To him that meant to do good. And do it if not to him. It is a sin. John chapter 14 verse what? 15. He says, if you love me, you will keep my word commandments. And he says, go out and witness. You are not witnessing. You are not keeping his commands. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And God is going to bring acceleration into that area. You will desire no more to sin. You will desire to do his work. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then acceleration in the desire to compel them. Praise the name of the Lord. You will see yourself when you wake up. It is just, there will be just that thing in you that you, you want to go out and compel people. Yes. Compel people. Because of that acceleration that God is bringing. Luke chapter 14, verse 23. And the Lord said unto his servant, Go out to the highways and the hedges and compel them to come in, that my house be what? Be filled. That my house may be what? Be filled. So you are part of what the work, you are part of that habit that God is setting, bringing in. You have a part in it. Go in, go out. Those that are on the hedges, compel them what to come into the house, that the Lord's house may be what? Filled acceleration. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And then the final thing is that acceleration to make heaven rejoice. How many of us want to make heaven rejoice? You know you can make heaven rejoice by just witnessing. You can make heaven rejoice by witnessing. Praise the name of the Lord. It says Luke chapter 15 verse 10. Likewise I say to you, there is joy in the presence of angels of God. Over one sinner that was repented. There is joy in heaven. Over one soul. Why don't you want to make heaven rejoice? Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. For that acceleration is coming to you. To be able to what, make heaven rejoice. You won't be shy again. Amen. You will be bold like a lion. Amen. To what speak the word of God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I remember I said. When you... When there's acceleration, definitely you will catch up. Praise the name of the Lord. That means there's going to be a catching up in this land in the name of Jesus. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. We are going to catch up with America. We are going to catch up with, uh, with uh, uh, Asia. We are going to catch up with, uh, 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 with uh, Africa. Praise the name of the Lord. Europe too is, is going to catch up. Europe here yeah, is going to catch up. Praise the name of the Lord. How are we going to catch up with Australia too? Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Not only catch up with God said, we are going to overtake. We are going to overtake. He says, this land of Ireland is going to overtake. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. And I decree to what is that. This land of Ireland you will overtake. Spiritually you will overtake. In the name of Jesus. Because there's a celebration coming to this kingdom. There's a celebration coming to the body of Christ. There's a celebration coming to individual, to home, to 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 take it. There's a celebration coming. There's a celebration coming, and that celebration is going to lead to what a catch up. It's going to lead to what an overtaking in the name of Jesus. It says the plow man, the plow man. That's why he will what overtake the river. The plow man will what overtake the river. 
praise the name of the Lord. That means, I want you to understand that scripture. It means the reaper, while he is still gathering his heart, uh, hallelujah. The man is already planting again, and he, as he's planting, another one is bringing up again. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. There will be supernatural supply, right. supernatural supply Amen. of finances for the work of God to be done in the name of Jesus. Supernatural supply for the work of God to be done, for the work of God to be done in the name of Jesus. He says, Why do I will sow it? It's already ready. It's already time for harvest. Even before you sow, harvest is already springing up. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, expect that supernatural. Lift up your hands tonight. Lord, receive. I receive that supernatural habit. I receive that supernatural habit. I receive the acceleration that you give into my life. I receive acceleration in the area of intimacy. I receive acceleration. In the area of growth, I receive intimacy. In the area of what witnessing, I receive acceleration. Acceleration. In every area, I receive acceleration. In my life, in this ministry, I receive acceleration for this ministry. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father. And we give you all the glory. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. May you be blessed.